Right, welcome to the next Norwich. And the uh, continuing from the last one, looking at Dougal, the Dougal people, right? Yeah, um, they, they made a film in the in the 2006 about Dougal, a dog's quest to see of the world, right? So they're still using the Dougal idea. You know, it's an important idea to them. z you know, and the evil ice wizard. So they still love a bit of Dougal, right? And they, they go back to the, uh, the Dougal people, right? Mixed African and Indian the, uh, <coughs> idea, right? And uh, you go to this, um, it means a mix, it means a mixed people, right? And you go to that one, you look on that. And uh, it's got a list of names of people who are like Dougal people, right? and this is one of them, right? Uh, Raji Narin Singh. Remember, Singh is the lion, it means the lion, right? And this is an interesting stop in this one because it, uh, it's LGBT activist, right? And basically, it's a, it's a trans, right? Yeah. It's a trans, it must be basically off American uh, television and all this. It, uh, it says at some, some uh, point here. <coughs> yeah. What came out as a transgender woman in the late 90s, right? Began uh, transitioning, right? Yeah. Again, transitioning and, yeah. Equipment's playing up here a bit. O'Neill Ron Morris, right? Went to O'Neill Ron Morris. Yeah, uh, Morris. Do you remember the Morris out the Moors crew idea? Right? Morris known as the Duchess. Right? Is also a transgender woman. Known in the Miami trans community. So there's all this type of story about that, right? <clears throat> and it's been on our talk shows and that. Yeah, and they've been, a, been uh, on talk shows in Britain and all. Which is yeah, interesting, like this one, the fi this morning thing with Philip Scorpion and, and Trisha Goddard and that, see? You get a bit of dog and god with this uh, Dougal, right? So it's, you know, it's something to do with that, right? But, yeah. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> and obviously, right from, from that, right, you get Mark Dougal. Which is, yeah, uh, Scottish clan, obviously, right? Based in the wrong Argyle, right? And you see the Lord Lion, King of Arms, right? So Sing is the lion. And there's a lion again, right? And bear uh, the Argyle. He's also, you know, the, uh, kind of be what he call it, important here. But, but look at this, yeah. Um, Do you see that Mark Dougal means son of Dougal? Yeah. And there, this, we, this is on the coat of arms thing or the crest or whatever. And it's basically that's a syringe. Remember how the story of that trans it said it worked for the American Red Cross, right? But there's the Red Cross. And that is basically a syringe, right? With the arm, the arm and the syringe, because obviously you stick the syringe in the arm, right? To inject the trans hormones. So it's, you know, totally trans us, right? And there's, you know, so much cool with it, you know, the ST there. You know what that one there, yeah. No, but the red deer uh, rope on type of thing. You look how sort of Jesus like that is, you know. It's got the, uh, you know, it's like a woman's dress, right? The red, the lovely set of legs and that. And leaning on this, you know, this uh, sword, but it's a very long sword, so it's like the, uh, the syringe idea, right? Now that's what that represents. So this sort of whole Highland clansman idea, say, come from the the syringe, you know, so uh, it can't be earlier than when the syringe come about. And the, uh, you know, that sort of, uh, that Highland, uh, what do you call it, kilt, basically comes from Ethiopian Highlanders. Yeah. He has a trance, right? Yeah. 
That's the choice, you know. Purely, you know, like an urban trans idea, not a lot, you know. But like this, you know, the story, right? This could in the story. The, uh, the Duchess, right? You know, the Red Cross, the Duchess, and all this. So you got this Margaret Campbell, the Duchess of Argyll. Right? This one's basically uh, not urban trans. This one's basically a secret trans. You know what I mean? And then, um, very long arms and like, you know, and big hands. There's no one meant to be known as a society beauty in the sort of, you know, 50s or something. But um, the Campbell, right? the Campbell, as we know, is um, the Chamberlain, which is the eunuch of the royal bedchamber, see? The eunuch of the royal court. As you can see, you know, this one there is definitely a trans in that. Very masculine bro, you know. Yeah, total trans. That's the Duchess of all girls, eh? And they're very Dracula. So this one here, you know, here is connected to that Douglas people, right? But it's just a case of which come first, chicken and egg, you know, chicken or the egg, you know, is the is the the white, the supposedly white aristocrats, the ones who are like uh, come first before the, the black ones, or is it the black ones come first before the, you know, these supposed white aristocrats? See? You see, uh, Wigan. Me, Wiggum, Sweeney, and the uh, Duke of Orga, and obviously uh, the me got Eleanor Campbell, British noblewoman, prior of the Order of Saint John's Priory of Scotland. Remember the Scotlanders, the Dark Land. Remember the Cadbury family, these two all these type of, uh, you know, British aristocrat ideas come together, you know, they're all bloody and bred, basically. You know, Dundas, I remember I had Jungle done a video on the Dundas ones. It was very weird there, you know, looking people and all that. And, uh, you know, all the type of same goods as always. So the, you know, which one come first, basically, the African Indian more bored, the what they call British ones, you know. And of course, I've, I've done a few videos, uh, you know, and I basically know what I think on it. TM, the Dirty Duchess. Yeah. Duchess of Argyle. And the Sex Scandal. <laughs> of course, if it's called Campbell, the eunuch in that, you know, it's how you let, let unlikely to be, yeah. You know, not satisfied with normal relations and indulge in disgusting sexual activities. It's not likely to participate in out like that if it's named after a eunuch, like, is it? Yeah. Like the Campbell Chamberlain, curate and chaos. <laughs> you know, the totally Masonic as digital transformation. Or a Chamberlain. You know, the most lovely Douglas name because he yeah, always had like one of the big stars plastered all over the name Douglas, like the uh, Kirk Douglas, you know, and then the Michael Douglas. So, yeah, uh, you know, they're the, like the Douglas. And again, you've got here. Uh, 
Ik ben hier aristocratic. In lineage of the Earl of Douglas. So that sort of Douglas family. Again, sort of really under Scotland and all this, right? And this one was neat dog, really, yeah, this Swedish aristocrat. <coughs> but we've also got some, um, <coughs> some funny stuff about uh, aristocrats and unicorns. We've got a Welsh poet and novelist, right? I don't know if that's a different one, right? but uh, you've got a poet here, right? Poet called uh, Douglas, who wrote Aristocrats, right? Was fighting in North Africa. Right? So this year, uh, this Douglas wrote this poem called Aristocrats. It's a apparently very famous poem and all this. Right? And there's the God idea again, right? A noble horse with courage in his eye. So it's obviously something to do with our World War One type of BS hex, you know. Shell burst, you know, like, like looking up an Eastern Star or something like that. But it's, yeah, I'm not sure when this was wrote, but you know, as you can see, it's this Douglas character, Keith Douglas, wrote this, yeah, you know, poor. So this sort of aristocrat idea and the dual, the dual girl people, or whatever you call it, right? The Dougal people, you know. So it's like there's a, there's a connection between the sort of British aristocracy and the sort of African Indian transline, you know. So, yeah. so you know, you know it's, it's like I see which one come first, you know what I mean? Those ones or these ones, and there's the dog. So obviously the dog and God idea is to deal with this. You know, like Dougal the dog off the magic roundabout. The Douglas. So, uh, you know what I mean? Which one come first? The mix, of course, you know, the mix because of the trances. Yeah? Mixed, yes. So, it's a special trans culture, see? The mighty Douglas. Cletus Ali. So the mixed uh, blood idea, of course, uh, you know, as well as the race, it means the trance, yeah. The corner of this means bastard or mutt. So that's very interesting again, you know, here. Mighty Douglas. There's the Muslim. Muslim Indian and African war, see, see, uh, you yeah. know. Is that what we're talking about here, you know what I mean? And there's one of his best known Calypso is Split Me in Two. I am Nero One, there's the I am query. Nero One, no the other, six of what a dozen of the other. Of course, I love the Hex and the 33, like, you know? And yeah. <clears throat> so, you know, very funny, like. Of course, that uh, split nine two idea refers to Abraham, you know, in the Bible. Yeah, so, you know, when he has that baby and that and he cuts it in half or something, so of course it's, a, it's another metaphor for the trance. It's not about actually cutting a baby into bits, you know what I mean? It's a bit, uh, it's a, well, no, no, wait, wait, maybe Solomon done that one I'm thinking of. But you know what I mean? It's all the same thing. It's a bit, uh, Making a trance, cut the living boy in two and give half and half. Yeah. Maybe it refers actually to some form of a race thing, what it was at the start or something, you know. According to this stuff, anyway, you know. Maybe it's one making a new race or something, you know, trans race. Probably this one would be for William the, uh, the Conqueror. You know what the two words, you know, the, the C or N, read. Right? And uh, William the Bastard, so William the Bastard Mutt, and the I am, of course, the I am, so you know, William the Bastard Mutt, the trans, 
So this is you know, your block and trans idea again. We 